so what's quack a lack in there, Guardians? My name is Pwn, but the ladies call me Papa Synth. <laughs> you can call me Professor P even. Hell, let's go for it, because I'm about to teach you some things. Class is in session, the treads upon stars. The treads is a strike-specific loot drop. You can only acquire this thing by doing cabal-related strikes. We're talking like Volus, Shield Brothers, uh, the Flayers, stuff like that. The cool catch to this, though, is that you can now farm Nightfalls. So if either of those previously mentioned strikes are a Nightfall for your current week, you can continuously do the Nightfalls over and over and over again and farm for this weapon. You can't say that about a lot of weapons in this game. More importantly, this gun's actually in a really, really good type and damage tier because it's shared with a lot of other favorites in the game right now. So before this video is over, hopefully I can convince you guys to hang up the hung jury. See what it did there? Anyways, the Hung Jury is in the same type as this weapon, the Twinella, the Suros DIS-43, and I believe the Not Like the Others is also in the same category, and that one too, you can buy from vendors. So both that and the Hung Jury are extremely popular, and they're pretty much the same thing as this gun. But like I said before, what makes this gun stand out is the fact that you can farm it. I went through... 10 of these until I got my dream roll. So let's pop the hood. The Treads is a kinetic scout rifle with a rate of fire, range, and stability coming in at about average for scouts. The impact and reload speed are slightly higher than average, making it a very formidable weapon for all ranges. Remember that impact I said was pretty fancy? That's right, 61 damage to the cranium. Four shots to kill total in a second flat. Everywhere else on the body, it hits for 41 damage in five shots tacking on an extra third of a second so it is pretty significant despite what the numbers say the catch here is if you do the math together you can realize that two headshots and two body shots are still capable of killing in four shots total which is a very very good comfort room that's a lot of leeway to work with in case you're missing precision shots this gun shoots at 180 rounds per minute it's got a 44 percent aim assist tacked onto it it reloads in 2.47 seconds to 2.71 depending on empty or full and it's got a 16 mag capacity working with it this is about the point in the video where you'd look over your shoulder to make sure your other scout rifle's not watching you right now <laughs> clear that history baby so this gun is absolutely delicious it's incredible at all ranges it's extremely reliable and crucible very fun to use even in pve if you've got the right perks for it so let's go ahead and dive down that tunnel right now Professor P, what perks do we want? Alright, number one, and the one that you really want to look for for PvP is crowd control. This is the one that I hunted these things down for over an entire week for. This is the perk that separates it from the other ones out there that you can purchase. This crowd control adds an extra 15% of damage on top after a kill. If you do recall, this thing hits 61 to the head. 15% damage is an additional 9 on top, meaning this gun hits 70 to the head after a kill, putting it in a potential 3 headshot to kill range. That is big. That's going to contest things like Nerwins and other popular strong pulse rifles like Red Deaths. That's huge. Life support's not a bad backup perk either, but again, for PvP, I would only recommend coupling life support with reactive reload. I would have to pair those two together to ever be satisfied with that combination. And it's also a very good PvE perk as well. Actually, it's growing to be one of my favorites. Okay, let's take a journey up the middle tree. Now, what's so interesting about this gun is it's got significant range. Sacrificing a little bit of that to boost some stability is a worthy decision. Handlaid stock is the ideal perk here. Runner-ups would be injection mold or small bore. In the top tree, you can even get perfect balance, which is not a bad compromise. And high caliber rounds is a growing popular perk amongst players. I absolutely adore it, but I prefer it on pulse rifles, if anything, but it is great on scout rifles. In that final perk bubble, what you're going to be looking for, ideally, would be third eye, outlaw, or reactive reload. Again, reactive reload is not the best perk coupled with crowd control. You just don't need it. They kind of contest each other, and it doesn't really add anything significant to PvP. And the outlaw obviously has value. The third eye has value. Firefly adds value to PvE, and that's why it's listed in that. But for the most part, you're really looking for a stability perk and crowd control when dealing with this thing for PvP. The final perk, almost all of those are worthy besides Gorilla Fighter, which is kind of stupid to be honest. So you can't really go wrong in that final perk bubble. Yeah, we just science the hell out of that, guys. High five. Yeah, I just did that. So... <laughs> What's so cool about this gun, like I said, its value is not only in the fact that it's as reliable as some of the other guns, it actually has a little bit better stats than something like the Hung Jury. I think little distinct details will be something like better aim assist, stuff like that. But for the most part, you'll never know the difference between that. If you love your Hung Jury, I'd say take the opportunity to farm it Treads Upon the Stars. That crowd control is big for PvP, especially playing in game types like Rift, 
control where lots and lots of people like to clump up in you know high traffic areas funnel into areas like hallways on objectives it's really big those 70 precision hits with crowd control really do add a lot of damage and hitting power from this thing and that's why i went ahead and i farmed for hours to get the perfect roll that's something you can't get from those other scout rifles out there so the next time the opportunity presents itself that you can get in a nightfall and farm for this specific treads upon stars that cabal related one that you're looking for take the opportunity to do that this gun will last throughout the duration of this dlc so Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave feedback down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys thought about the charts, how you like to actually visualize it, and what you guys honestly thought about this review. Again, leaving a like supports it, too. So if you did enjoy this, want to see more, show some love in the section down below. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and circumcise this commentary. We're going to cut it right here, guys. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I believe this was just shy of 50 kills. So again, like I said, you can find success. Even like a gun like this, which ideally this map would be built for something like auto rifles and pulse rifles, I managed to do well with a scout rifle. So if that doesn't convince you that this is a gun worth farming for, I don't know what will. Thank you again for supporting my channel. Again, if you want to leave a comment down below, let me know what other guns you would like to see reviewed in the future. If there's one you're curious about or you love and your friends just haven't gotten on the bandwagon yet, let me know. I will review it and break it down for you and let you know the best options for it. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for future Destiny Tech and King gameplay, and enjoy the rest of the video. Your runner is advancing. They've defeated your spark runner. Three opponents down. Fantastic work. Charging the spark. Only five minutes left. Pretend like you, I could end war. The spark has arrived. Run her out. Push forward. Runner approaching the rift. Spark runner is down. Spark ready. Take it. Your runner has the spark. Runner down. Charging the spark. Has arrived. Run her out. Push forward. Your runner is advancing. Finish them. They've stopped your spark runner. Available. Heavy ammo on the way. You outplayed them. Take that cunning beyond the tower and you'll go far.